Hello everybody and welcome to Two Minutes with PJ. The day today is January 20th, 2016. Now the topic we're going to talk about today is shame. Now shame shows up 91 times in 90 different verses. Of course, I'm not going to go over all those verses. That would be ridiculous, but I have chosen some important ones and topics uh, that we can talk about. So let's start from the beginning. As we know, Adam and Eve went ahead and they ate of the forbidden fruit. Before that, they were naked. After they ate of that forbidden fruit of knowledge of good and evil, they realized that they were naked. And when they were naked, they were afraid. They were ashamed because they had sinned. And God went searching for them, and Adam replied in Genesis 3.10, I heard you coming, and I didn't want you to see us naked, so I hid. Now, God, you can't hide from God because he knew. And he did question Adam, and of course, Adam did not take responsibility. He blamed it on Eve, and Eve blamed it on the serpent. In Proverbs 11.2, proud men end in shame, but the meek become wise. Isaiah, instead of shame and dishonor, you shall have a double portion of prosperity and everlasting joy. In Daniel 9.9, 9, but the Lord our God is merciful and pardons even those who have rebelled against him. So as we know, Adam and Eve sinned, and God forgave. Yet, he did kick them out of the uh, garden. He could have killed them, but instead, he had mercy, and he allowed them to live. Of course, that was the start of our gen the different generations. It isn't good to be prideful. It's better to be humble. For the prideful will fall, and the humble are wise. God promises that if we are true to him, that our shame and dishonor will be erased. He will restore us with a double portion of the prosperity and joy. We are pardoned completely by God, and he is merciful to those who have rebelled against him. God accepts us just as we are. So... I want you to think about this. I know we do shameful things and we hide, but we can't hide from God. He knows what we've done. And God forgiven us. He loves us. He shows us mercy. He shows us grace. And that all happened through Jesus. And once we believe truly in God, He will restore us and we will have to humble ourselves completely, get rid of our pride, and we will re be restored to happiness, joyfulness, everlasting joy. Have a blessed day, and God bless.